Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Bend. I wanted to talk to you about the fascial uh, exercises I've been sharing with you. Uh, I've been encouraging patients to do some, my, some myofascial release or on their body with using some different devices. And there are some scenarios where it's not good for you. Um, those are having congestive um, vein disorder, congestive heart disease, if your medical doctor says not to do it, it's, it you know, you may want to listen to them. Um, you may have deep vein thrombosis. Those people are not generally encouraged to be doing a, a lot of fascial release. You don't want to affect your circulation. If you've had deep, thromb th th deep vein thrombosis and you've had an ultrasound and you've been cleared, you can do fascial releasing. So. It is not for everyone, but the general consensus is don't do it if your MD says no. Don't do it if you have or are suffering right now from deep vein thrombosis. And if you have arterial disease, you may want to stay away from that. You also may have, if you've recently had a surgery, you don't want to be doing fascia releasing over your surgery point. You want to stay away from it. If you have cancer or recently treated from cancer because you may have chemicals in your body that are causing you to have issues. Um, and the other thing is, is if you're taking a lot of blood thinners, you're going to bruise easier. And when you do have um, fascial release, the whole point is that you're going to break through some of your fascial tension, which is going to create more circulation, which is going to bruise you at first. So if you've already taken some kind of medication, sometimes even some certain birth control pills create an issue with your circulation and you may bruise more easily than someone that doesn't take a certain time. There's a very, there's, I don't remember the name of the birth control pill, pill, but I definitely have run across a young person using a birth control pill that bruised even just from gentle adjustments in my office, and we definitely looked it up, and the, and the medica medication she was on caused her to bruise more easily. So just be aware that if uh, you're, you're medicating, you've suffered from cancer recently, uh, by everywhere, if you are, if you have, are pregnant, you need to be careful with where you don't want to be doing going uh, with any major fascial release and um, if your MD says no, if you have um, medications that are causing you to have blood thinners or you're taking blood thinners as well as deep vein thrombosis or arterial disease. If you have any questions about this, give me a call. I'm Dr. Amy Bend. Um, I'm practicing in a row around California. Thank you.